All right, collectors, thanks for joining me today. I decided to do one more custom on the Baroness. I had some pieces uh, laying about. I had some extra parts laying about. I remembered that I had an extra um, shriek body. Uh, it, and what does that shriek body have? Well, she has double jointed arms. Uh, and with some of the parts left over from this Baroness, um, I was able to then cobble together this Baroness. Um, I think if they would have released her looking like this, She'd have been about as popular as the Black Widow, maybe. Uh, it's just a shame that Hasbro refuses uh, to do the right thing when it comes to articulated females or female action figures. It's just, it's just a doggone shame. Now, the big question is, here's my question to you guys. Which one of these ladies do you like better? It's up to you. You guys tell me which one of these ladies is, is, <laughs> I was just thinking something funny. Is, uh, she the Baroness's teenage daughter? I don't know. She looks way younger. Uh, but the, you know, Baroness, well, here, here's the deal. I'm going to just say straight up. She, to me, is the better figure because of the nostalgic strings, the, the nostalgia that she pulls on or she tugs at me with. Um, this one is kind of a, you know, a, a newer re-envisioning of her. Uh, and, and that's still okay, it's okay. But I'm always gonna prefer uh, this uh, beautiful version of the Baroness uh, to something that's been a little bit more cobbled together. It's okay, everybody has their own. Plus, I like the, <laughs> the little zipper, it, I don't know. It, this seems very Baroness to me. This seems more like a secret agent or maybe a, an attache of that Baroness or some kind of like mentor, right, relationship. So number one, which one do you guys like better, the, the newer version of the Baroness or the old school version of the Baroness? So let's get to it real quick. And, and it just remember, just by looking at these figures, it just occurs to me that, hey, you know what? I actually have some room for improvement on her. I didn't give her a sling like I gave her. Uh, and as I keep plugging away, guys, I have a whole video on how to make slings from six cents all the way to, or from less than a penny, all the way up to like, you know, $6 on how to get slings or whatever, how to make them. Uh, it's all really up to you on how to make those. But I've noticed that a lot of Joes need those. And I really detest plugging the, the I don't detest it. It's just a strong word. I just think it's cooler if the Joes actually had a sling to put on their weapon rather than it plugs into their back. Um, that's all. That, that, you know, it's a simple, it's just a simple difference, right? So anyways, let's take a real closer look at this particular Baroness now that we've put her together, right? Let's look and see what, what we used to put her together. So we'll, we'll go ahead and of course, here, let me put, uh, this back in here so that we can just start from scratch and you know get in there you gosh why is it why is it being so convoluted there we go why are you being so mean to me all right maybe because I was <laughs> because I pulled all over you to make it happen all right so here we go um, let's start off with you know the easy stuff right let's start off with um, the weapons, right? So I'll just stand her back here. I don't want to fool around and try to make her stand because having her stand, you know, with these kind of like high heels, it's tougher. I use these little guys that I got off of eBay. These little um, uh, standoffs that I got uh, to make her stand. It's just, it just makes life easier. I could make her stand and balance all on her own, but oh, that's a beat. Anyways, uh, this is a Viper gun. I just added some simple uh, weathering to it. Um, and that's it. That's that's all there is to it. Now, this sling I made with this is staples. And I show you this on the other video on how to create it, or I don't show you, I don't walk you through them, I just show you options, right? So this is a simple staple, and this is a leather strap that you can find at any hobby store, right? I took I took some super glue, super glued the leather together, and then I took a staple and I pushed this uh, cut the staple in half and then took some pliers and put the staple together here and then the other piece over here. So it looks like a little metal piece, right? I guess you could take another piece and put it here just so it could weigh it down a bit, but that's it. And this acts like a great little sling for her. 
So we'll put that here, uh, you know, stack weapons, you. All right, so what else would we do? Of course, everybody knows this face of the Baroness, right? She's been sitting at Ollie's forever. So that's where the face came from. Uh, and I used uh, the, the Baroness's neck, the regular, the retro Baroness's neck to put right here. Um, the Baroness has got a uh, widow's neck over there. So I took her neck, put it down here. We're gonna start from the top down. And then what did we do after that? Well, I took her breastplate and I put it on her because now we've got the neck, the breastplate, and also the midsection, the torso. Uh, and uh, the legs are hers. Uh, and so is the, uh, no, the this midsection from here to here, all the way up to the neck is the retrocarded Baroness's stuff. The arms belong to Shriek. And these gloved hands, well, you're gonna have to forgive me for these gloved hands. I think they belong to, I wanna say, um, what's her name in, um, what's her name? Well, how are you guys gonna know? In the Winter Soldier, not Winter Soldier, in Captain America and the Winter Soldier, I guess, there was a contact, an agent in Madripoor. They made an action figure of her. I think these are her hands. I think. Don't hold me to it. I don't 100% remember. So, anyways, that's whose hands I think they are. But I, I just had a bunch of hands there, and I just grabbed those hands. Um, and so, and then these are her original legs from Ollie's. These legs are fine. They're double-jointed, um, and they're, they're just fine, and they're not even pinned, so... They're pretty good legs. I don't have a problem with any of them. Uh, so anyways, now this um, this weapon and this holster come from the Valkyrie pack, but the Valkyrie legs, the Valkyries are thickies. <laughs> I mean, uh, but not that thick. Uh, you know what? I take it back. They're not thickies. They're athletic. They're very athletic. They're very strong. Uh, female warriors or female soldiers. So her little skinny legs were just too big for the Valkyrie's weapon system. So I had to take, and you're gonna laugh at me, but this right here, here, let me see if I can zoom out. I've got a different perspective, but this part here is actually, you're gonna laugh, you're gonna laugh. It's a used piece of uh, a mask, like the COVID mask, this little thing right here. I just cut off a used piece of the mask and then just cut off the, the, the Valkyrie's um, weapon system and put it on her. Now it's nice and snug there and it's elastic here. And it and then I kind of super glued it onto the back of this uh, and also ran a, uh, like a little metal staple through it as well to keep it in place. So there's that. And yeah, these, these weapons, I think these are hers to begin with. Yeah, these are her, her weapon and belt. And I also gave her the symbol over here that I put on her. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much an entire walkthrough of who this, who she's made up of. What do you guys think? Do you like her better than that Baroness? I just couldn't help myself. I had to make another one. And even if I don't call her the Baroness, she could be her understudy, right? Like I said, like a mentor at the very beginning. Uh, and the Baroness is teaching her how to, you know, how to be the next up and coming, you know, because you know, even Cobra has to have a succession plan. <laughs> They're a ruthless terrorist organization or company. So in order to remain a ruthless terrorist organization or company fighting the Joes over here, uh, you got to you gotta have a succession plan. So they're no different than anybody else. Uh, so anyways, I thought that I thought I thought I'd put it together. I'd see what you guys thought about it. Um, the Shriek's hands didn't go right in, just, just off the bat. Um, you, you have to heat them up. You have to be very careful. You have to open those holes up a little bit. I mean, ever so slightly for the pins to go into, into her old body uh, uh, to make it work. But so don't, don't, too, don't, uh, don't do it too much. And it, you know, because then these, these arms will be all wobbly and then you'll have no hold. You know, you'll put her hand up and it'll just come right back down. There'll be no tension for it to hold up. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I sure do enjoy making baronesses or, you know, you know, female well-articulated figures. I, I, lo I love the whole kit bashing scene. It's fun to me, you know, a little bit of customizing, a little bit of fiddling with it and boom, you got yourself a brand new version of her. So 
Guys, thanks for watching. As always, you know, uh, if you're feeling kind of blue, if the week's been challenging, like it has been to this guy, uh, we're starting off a new week though. We're gonna hit it hard and we're gonna make sure the week goes great. Um, crack open a toy, get some kit bashing in, you know, have some fun, escape from the world and, and uh, you know, just stay positive. So um, ultimately, if I've entertained you, if I've amused you, if I've informed you, or if I inspired you, why don't you throw me a like in there and maybe subscribe and we can keep, do we can keep doing this. So as long as you guys keep watching, I'll keep rolling these out.